Hearts. My name is Susie Turner and I'm presently the principal at Watt Hardison Elementary. I've always felt very strongly about the fact that you know when children are healthy they perform better in school. My daughter and I used to have this conversation because as an athlete and her playing sports we used to always comment that it seemed like all the athletes were the ones who had the good grades and they seem like they always perform better. I think a lot of times it, it has to do with you know self-discipline how, how you learn to just to train yourself to do certain things. But I also know that what your body takes in and how you treat your body to be healthy has a lot to do with what you're able to produce and what comes out of it. So we try to, are really working hard to teach our children that. And also I've been in, as a principal, I've had very high income area school and very low income. And as you look at health and nutrition for children who come from low income schools, who do not get to go home into healthy environments, whether it be exercising and doing things outside or participating in a lot of sports and things. It also has to do with going to the grocery store and the kind of foods that you eat and if you walk the perimeter of the grocery store and kind of look for fresh fruits and vegetables and those kind of things, then it seems like that you do see a correlation between the success of school and health and nutrition. And that's very important to me because I feel like that's where our children have a disadvantage as well. I, I got the idea this summer, I thought, okay, we need to get these children outside on the track. We were very fortunate, year before last, I think it was, that Coordinated School Health put the track in for us. We didn't even have to pay for that, so they did that. And so the task force has been very supportive and behind all the endeavors and things that we've been wanting to try. Well, in the mornings, if you go in there and watch the kids, they their first question is, Ms. Turner, who walks the track today? They wonder what grade levels get to go out because we can't, we can't do the entire school on any one day because it would be disastrous out there. <laughs> so we divide them half on Monday, Wednesday, half on Tuesday, Thursday, and then they alternate Fridays. And the, the kids have just, they, they love it. I mean, we try to go straight from breakfast and then they go on out there, they've already had breakfast at home, they get to go straight to the track. And then we've also incorporated the community in with this. Like because of our track that we have out there in Richland Park being very close to us, the city of Portland has been fabulous. I just got finished working with them. We're doing a safe routes to school for Watt Hardison Elementary. We're looking at more walking and bike riding and centering our school for that. So I've been very, very excited about that. Common Core, I mean, one of the things when you were talking about, we were, you mentioned the Common Core. Well, we even said, you know, one of the things you do close read, you have to look at information, use text evidence, and we can do those and still use nutrition-based information to do some of the Common Core standards and follow through with those. My name is Erin Dahlhauser, and I'm the physical education teacher here at Watt Hardison Elementary School. I think that Everyone has always wanted to have more awareness of health, making healthy choices. I think that having Vandy step in and choose us as one of their schools to implement um, Fizzy's Lunch Lab and just all around um, making healthier choices has really been kind of a wake up call. To the immediate task force, we were all kind of in the game from the beginning, really excited about doing it. But as our excitement came into the school, it kind of spread to the other teachers. And so I think we've made a lot of changes this year, uh, just when we're teaching, even making our lessons try to focus. Like if we can get a health aspect in there, then we try to get a health aspect in there. If we can relate exercise or nutrition or making you know better choices, um, for wellness, we really try to implement that. So I think just our brains are kind of in the zone of always trying to reinforce um, making healthy choices. Some kids don't even know what grows on a plant, what comes from a tree, and what grows from the ground. And we've talked about additives and empty calories and um, nutritiously dense foods and just their vocabulary of nutrition has completely expanded, um, you know, not just from, I know what a fruit is, I know what a vegetable is, but I know that this is a healthier choice from the grain group than this, or this is, you know, a steak might not be as healthy as a lean chicken choice from the protein group. Mm -hmm. So just making good conscious health choices. The task force has affected me as a teacher because I feel like it's really important to pull in facts about nutrition and health into everyday life. I'm always trying to emulate to my children to eat healthy. I've actually turned my own personal diet around and I have no longer given out candy anymore. I'm giving out healthy snacks 
during um, parties like for Halloween or Valentine's Day. I'm really um, encouraging the parents not to bring in any types of junk food or anything like that. So I can see a change in not only me, but my students as well, because they're starting to bring in healthier foods and the types of foods that I'm eating, because I'll bring in fresh fruit, apples, strawberries, things like that, and that encourages them to come in and bring in healthier snacks as well. They really enjoy watching the webisodes online. Um, every time that we eat lunch inside the classroom, they're asking me to put it on. That's their first question, is to put on those webisodes. As a school, I think it's affected us because um, we've really tried to focus on exercise. We've done the walking track um, where the children are allowed to go out in the mornings and get their exercise in the morning. Um, we've all integrated the walking and exercising into our recess or somewhere throughout the day as well as um, being able to track how much they're exercising and how they're eating healthy. I feel like as a school we've really jumped on board with promoting more exercise, especially in a community where um, a lot of people aren't exercising as much as they should. I know in my classroom my kids are more aware of what they eat now. Um, most of the time they would normally bring chips or donuts, Pop-Tarts for a snack in the afternoon and now they will bring mostly fruit or like granola bars or things of that sort and if they see their friends eating something that's not healthy they're sure to tell them. My name's Anna, I'm in Miss Mitchell's class and I'm 10. Um, I'm Will and I'm in Miss Mitchell's class and I'm 10 also. Well we every morning on Tuesdays and Thursdays one Grades one, two, three, and four go out on the rock walking track, and on Mondays and Wednesdays, K two and five go. Once it's time to come in, you go in, and then you you have to eat breakfast first. But you go in and learn, then learn. This is my nutrition log. Well, you check where you get, where you've gotten to do things, and eight hours of sleep healthy breakfast, brush teeth, health walk three laps, white milk, fruit, and vegetable for that day. And then it's got the dates at the top and you go through and check them off at the end of the day if you've done it. Um, this is like the mileage um, club. See, this is how many things, how many um, laps we walk. So like on the track, we would walk three laps and then we put the date and then we'll, we'll do it every day and then we'll go to the back. I feel healthier because the food in the cafeteria and it's healthier for you and everything that our teachers try to do for us, like get, get, trying to get us out for recess, it helps us get a break and we're able to rest our brains and just that's what makes me feel healthier. Well, um, like if, like walking on the track every day, it, it's kind of a way to stretch your legs and stuff and then clear your mind if you have anything on your mind. I like being here where I am. I want to be able to help children to see that an education and doing the right thing will get you out of the cycle sometimes that they are in. The school, just overall, everybody is more on board with nutrition and exercise. Definitely has affected our faculty in a positive way.